Uh, my name is Brent Henderson. I'm your Master of Ceremonies for today. What the, the Flexible Women in Payments um, Network have curated today, it's incredible. It's a wonderful mix of both payments and gender. Since several of our businesses are built around technology and payments, the actual Women in Payments Network is critical to us. The question I think that the European Banking Federation asks about open banking, well, so when will the social media companies be opening up? Nobody's come up with what that sweet spot is, so why would I give you all my data? If the first financial services relationship that you have is a non-bank, where is that leading us to with mm -hmm. the next generation? People want to come to work and they want to feel included. Research is showing us that people want uh, an experience. That if you don't create an environment in the workplace where everybody feels they can contribute, then it's, it's kind of a waste of time. According to EY, 31% of companies have a zero spend on diversity and inclusion. Mm. You know, if you stop and think about it, it's quite nuts that we even would, yeah. uh, you know, segregate people based on something as silly as the colour of their mm. skin or their religion <clears throat> or, you know, other, other factors. Seeing that a company is inclusive and, and has the right kind of culture is now a hygiene factor for a lot of people who are job searching. Ultimately, we want to get to a place where we don't have those things and diversity is given. This generation are quite that adverse coming from yeah. growing up during a recession era. It's our connection to what the brand yeah. can, can deliver for us. And I think that proactive approach on, on managing your own privacy um, is, is something that we're going to have to do because the horse is bolted. I don't want to be too negative about it, but Ireland in particular has a long way to go in acceptance, more so on the ethnicity rather than the gender. We need to remove that label of this is for boys and this is for girls. I think there's probably a lag between the development of AI and also the legislation, the legal frameworks and the ethics and everything that comes with it. Everything will eventually end up with some form of an identity and some form of a passport. Because one of the greatest criticisms for, of open banking to date is that there's not enough understanding out there. I see the future not so much Oh, definitely open, but open data. The open is quite contradictory to what we have been told in the past. Like banks have told us not to share your data. Obviously, there are going to be risks, but we'll take them as they come. Because everywhere I go, I find people with self-limiting beliefs. They say I think outside the box. Well, I'm telling you, there is no box. You've got to do something with your communities and your world around you. You've got to make impact and change. Your thoughts become your actions, and your actions become your reality. The magic here and, and the work that's required here is to replace all of that with I am unapologetically awesome, I deserve this, I own this. Thank you so much, Brida. It was incredible to have that kind of energy in the room. Be open to pushing yourself a tiny bit out of your comfort zone.